This is ISTH TV coverage live from the floor of the 2017 Congress here in Berlin, Germany. I'm Thomas Baldrick, joined now by Professor Gary Roskopf from the University of Oklahoma and equally important today, the chair of the steering committee of World Thrombosis Day. Thanks, sir, for coming by. I appreciate it. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. So you've been with World Thrombosis Day since the beginning. Um, how have you met your goals so far? Well, we're very, very excited at the growth and engagement the campaign has generated. Uh, uh, really remarkable growth now to the point where uh, in this 2017, coming up to the fourth World Thrombosis Day, we'll have more than 800 partners globally participating. We've had an enormous growth on social media um, with many millions of impressions. Um, and, and we found that there's been clearly uh, a real uptake and interest across the world of getting involved in the goals of this campaign. And uh, if the readers would, or viewers would like to learn more about that, there's a full report on our, our new journal, Research and Practice in Thrombosis and Hemostasis. Let's talk about the mission that you have with World Thrombosis yes. Day. So the mission of World Thrombosis Day is to raise awareness globally of thrombosis and the conditions that thrombosis causes and the large impact on premature death and disability that these conditions cause. And when we consider thrombosis as the underlying cause of heart attack, thromboembolic stroke, and pulmonary embolism, many people don't realize that that's responsible for one in four deaths across the globe. And so our mission is to really get a heightened awareness at first the general public, then with health professionals, and then thirdly with policymakers to have a coordinated action to uh, understand that we need to take some major, major efforts to reduce the burden of this because in many cases, thrombosis conditions are preventable. Okay, what are the benefits of being a partner and why should professionals take a closer look at it? Well. Um, we hope that uh, the professionals who are so committed to reducing uh, death and disability thrombosis conditions that is bringing them here to this ISTH meeting um, will find this as an opportunity to really increase awareness, awareness in, of the general public, awareness of health professionals, awareness of policy makers about the importance of thrombosis and the impact that it has and so it's a way in their own country in their own community to engage and participate on that one day to really increase awareness how have you found world thrombosis day has made a difference uh, I think that what's been so encouraging has been the feedback from the various partners about the impact they've had locally on patients on families on individuals who've uh, come up to them and said, you know, I'm so glad you're doing this because I never knew about this condition, thrombosis, uh, specifically the condition we're emphasizing in the early stages of the campaign, venous thromboembolism. I didn't know about this when I developed this or when a family member developed this. You know, this was scary, this was concerning, and we're so happy that there's this effort dedicated to enhancing the understanding of this condition, of ways that it can be prevented, and empowering uh, uh, people to uh, be engaged in their care and make a difference. So it's a one-day event, but with year-round ramifications. Absolutely. Um, uh, there are many activities that go year-round, and the steering committee and the support from ISTH really is to have materials and uh, uh, people there to help our colleagues across the world locally to do as much as they can throughout the year to um, raise awareness of thrombosis but culminating on October 13 the day itself. Have you noticed an uptick in awareness since you began? Um, we measured awareness at the outset of the campaign as a baseline found that awareness particularly of venous thromboembolism uh, was quite poor in contrast to awareness of other health conditions like uh, heart attack, hypertension, breast cancer, AIDS, which have all had very long-standing awareness campaigns for many years, and ours is just four years old. So we're not ready yet to uh, re-measure whether we've actually made an increase in awareness. But what we can say is that the, the 
impact from our metrics of media reach, we are getting the message out, there's no question. And it's a matter of just continually doing that for a few more years and we'll remeasure uh, whether the uh, awareness has been increased. Nicely said, thank you for your efforts. We appreciate you being here. Gary Roskop talking about World Thrombosis Day coming up on Friday, October the 13th, the 2017 version. You're watching ISTH TV. Thanks for being with us.